Hey guys, and welcome back to Misha's Corner. So today I'll be making this easy, simple keto mac and cheese. Low carb, of course. You guys have been hunting me down for keto recipes for the longest. So I'm going to pop up with a couple of them <laughs> over the next couple days. So let's get into this recipe. It's so delicious. I did not miss the pasta. And I'm truly, truly surprised at how extremely delicious this recipe was. So let's get into it. So you're gonna need some cauliflower. Now the reason I have two is because mine's were really tiny. I don't know if the camera is really showing how small these heads were, but they're really tiny. You're gonna need some cream cheese, your favorite cheeses, some butter, some heavy cream, some salt, and of course, spicy girl. So this is my cauliflower. I already took it off the stem. I just wanna show you guys how I chop it up. You wanna get them really small. So chop it up really small so it can mimic you know, it's not going to look like pasta, but you can mimic it by making it small. Don't make big old chunks. And then I'll show you guys what that looks like. At the end of the day, cauliflower is still a vegetable and you need to add flavor to it. So I decided to boil my cauliflower in chicken broth. You can use chicken stock or you can just use water and use salt. But I highly recommend using chicken broth or chicken stock. These are my cheeses right there. I already grated them and got them ready to go. You want to strain your cauliflower down in the sink. Get them nice and dry and ready to go. And now we're going to build the cheese sauce. So you want to add your butter and heavy cream. Next, you want to first add your cream cheese because you need to melt that down into your sauce. The cream cheese is like a stabilizer, which is going to keep your sauce nice and thick as it's cooking. Again, this is vegetable. This is not pasta. You know, pasta helps your sauce out. You want to season it with your pepper and your spicy girl or whatever seasonings you have on hand. Add your cheeses down in here. Cut your stove off. You don't want to boil your cheese. Once your seasoning and everything is ready to go, cut the stove off. Add your cheeses. Mix it up just like this. It's so easy, y'all. You can't mess it up. Add your cauliflower. Mix that up. And then we're going to pop it in the oven. Woo cha! Look at this cauliflower. Like, I can't. First of all, excuse my pan, y'all. I could not find my baking pan that I bought for this recipe to save my life. So I had to use a pie pan. <laughs> but I made it work. Cover it with cheese, put it into a 400 degree oven, and this is what it looks like. It's not gonna be hard, it's not gonna be cake like like baked macaroni, but you just wanted to melt the cheese on top. If you didn't even want to put it in the oven, you don't have to. Once you're done on the stove, that could be it. So I'm gonna taste this and let you guys know what I think. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna taste this for y'all real quick. First of all, I already tasted it before I put it in the oven, so I know it's good. But I'm never using macaroni noodles ever again. Mm. This shit is so delicious. I can't. I can't. Of course, you know you're eating cauliflower. But it's so flavorful and delicious, you won't even notice. And I think because I steamed it, well, boiled it in the chicken broth, it gave the cauliflower itself a lot of flavor. So I strongly suggest doing it. However, if you know you don't want to or you can't, water is fine. Just make sure you salt your water. But this is mm -mm, highly recommended. Highly recommend it. Mm -mm -mm. Bye, y'all.